Hey guys, Josh here again. Uh, so I had some requests uh, to show where these 1200s leak commonly because uh, if you've been watching my channel, uh, you'll see that these things have their share of oil leaks from factory that Skidoo screwed up on and I've fixed them. So I have the motor out and I had a request, which is a great idea. Thank you for that, uh, John. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, here's the sled. Uh, it is in a state of disrepair, as you can see. She is pretty, uh, pretty bare bones right now. So uh, first, I was just gonna go over coolant leaks if you ever have a coolant leak. I had one, and it's right where these coolant lines come out. I got everything covered up because we got a shop cat, and I don't want him licking this antifreeze. Anyways. Where this comes out of your tunnel and up to here, uh, mine was leaking when I got it, and that's a common spot for an antifreeze leak if you got one. So first we'll cover up uh, antifreeze leaks. So it was right there from that hose up to there, which is probably not gonna be that common for most sleds, but my sled had already been taken apart uh, by the Skidoo dealer, and they fixed the oil tank, didn't fix it still leaking and the motor had to come out so I assume that clamp didn't get tightened up. So anyways, that clamp attaches right to here, your thermostat housing. And it was leaking down there across my starter and down. So if you have a coolant leak, that's a good spot to check. There's a clamp here too. Everything else is factory connectors where you're not probably gonna get a leak. And then uh, coming over to this side of the engine, you have right here is your oil cooler so uh your oil cooler this had been fixed by the skidoo dealer which isn't leaking so that's good uh so right here you can get coolant leaks where this will crack and because there's half half coolant half oil in there and uh anyways that's another spot that's common and around the water pump and stuff but uh, as far as uh, oil leaks go if you have oil leaks and you're trying to troubleshoot them check uh, first check around here these things can get hairline cracks in them your oil cooler and they'll leak around the bottom here this is just to show the oil cooler up close because you won't be able to see it in your sled like this so I'll just show you it and uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It just fits flat on your block there and hold, and uh, it's sealed from that. Uh, another common spot for oil leaks is around your valve cover. I had mine off and put it back on and it's, it's fine. I imagine they all wick a tiny, tiny little bit, but nothing to be worried about. All right, so uh, now, for your oil leaks. So, as you can see, I can't be positive here, but uh, this is your oil tank right here that's behind your sled and it's it's hidden there. So, uh, I'll tip this up a bit. So as you can see, your tank has two bolts there, one there, um, and I believe there's an O-ring right here, here, uh, that goes in behind, and there's one up here. So as you can see, there's caulking everywhere. The Permatex, the right stuff, that's what I used. And uh, it's, it's really good stuff. I use it on almost everything now, guys. But uh, your common oil leak will be coming out of the bottom of this tank. These tanks will leak because it's a two-piece tank. As you can see on all these seams here, it's a two-piece tank glued together. But just to be safe, I put a layer of, of uh, silicone all the way around it. So when even if the skidoo seams back in here leaked it, it would have my glue behind it, which is a good idea. But uh, yeah, there's O-rings back in there. So this is supposed to just slide into the block right there. And that is supposed to have an O-ring on it inside the block and seal. But skidoo basically, I don't know if their tolerances are wrong or what, but they always leak. So. They want you to put putty, you have your O-ring and then you put putty on the O-ring and then you shove this tank into the block and you're pretty much guaranteed to seal that 
Basically, that's just showing the 1200 four-stroke motor and where they can leak oil. Uh, I hope this helps you if you're trying to look for an oil leak on your 1200. Uh, this is an out of sled thing, as you can see. And but if your sleds, if your motor's in your sled still and you're trying to diagnose an oil leak, this you can see close up at where they would leak possibly. And hopefully this helps you find your oil leak and you do not have to pull out your motor. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope this helps you diagnose your oil leak and I hope this gives you just a better view of the motor. And uh, if you have any more questions about 1200s or want any more information on them, I do a lot of stuff like this and I have a lot of videos on it. So if you need help, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, especially at this time of year. I'll be uploading a lot of snowmobile stuff so you can be notified right away. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.